So l let me let me throw a little bit of a curveball at you, if you will, sure. and, and and keep in mind it's coming from someone with a finance background. So I want to make sure I get this right. But but it's something I've noticed with with many students coming from different backgrounds. You know, how if I bifurcate business models in, into two buckets, okay, and bear with me, digitally native businesses and then businesses are, that are in the process of transitioning to digital. What do you see as differential responses across these two types of businesses to the uncertainty uh, in the environment today and, and how they address the pace of change that we're seeing? So to begin with, let me keep the uncertainty portion away and share with you my experience with these two distinct set of companies. One thing which I admire in Bond Digital clients is they anticipate and respond, and they sense and respond much faster than others. So, and continuous innovation is, is in the culture of that company. So it's not seen as if, oh, it's extra work, oh, I, let me focus on innovation. It's like everyday event in those companies. And even the word outsourcing, if you go back to the old era of outsourcing, people said, I want to focus on my core and non-core I outsource. Whereas a bond digital clients, their focus is, how can I go to market faster? Who can help me reach to the market faster? And if I want to fail, I want to fail fast. So they are looking for somebody who brings in this element of acceleration. They are looking for somebody who can take them for global scale quickly, who can do it faster, and of course, they are also interested in doing it cheaper. So it's not as if they are not focused on finance or financial returns. But the greater focus is acceleration. Now, if you snap back to, to um, non-digital, uh, or shall I say, the, the other set of companies, Innovation is seen as a distinct activity. I mean, you were describing younger generation thinks of tech in very native terms, whereas uh, a person of my age thinks of tech in daily life as an add-on, <laughs> right? So uh, these companies think of innovation as a separate function. They are trying to inject certain elements, but it almost requires a, a culture of of experimentation that one has to create. One needs to learn to celebrate failures as much as celebrating successes. Because if you don't celebrate failures, you're not encouraging people to experiment. So those are the elements which one needs to think about. If you are trying to be digital, it's not just the injection of technology. It's not just the injection of automation. It's also about culturally embracing the new ethos, which prepares you for not just defending yourself, but to be surging ahead uh, versus the competition. So that's kind of distinction. Now, you can overlay the economic uncertainty that's sitting on top, and you can start visualizing how they will act and react to, to the economic uncertainty that they are faced with, right? Will the culture of innovation go away in a bond digital client? Or will you start cutting down on R&D expense, which is a separate line item in, in most of the companies during economic uncertainty? Those are the questions which you can kind of start pondering over. But the fundamental difference of continuous innovation, much higher clock speed, and, and um, this concept of partnering for acceleration are the attributes which, which I learned from, from Bond Digital clients.